Hi, welcome to MCIX Tech Tips. My name is Linus Sebastian, and today we'll be looking at the Sunbeam Tech Tunic Tower. The Tunic Tower is a replacement for your Intel stock cooler or your AMD stock cooler on your CPU, allowing for better cooling and higher overclocks. Included in the box with the Tunic Tower is the tower heatsink itself, a fan speed controller, and mounting hardware, as well as some thermal compound. For a closer look at the Tunic Tower, you can see that the Tunic Tower uses a very large 120mm fan in the middle of two sets of fins. Compared to a standard AMD socket 939 stock heatsink, you can see that it is quite a bit larger. What this allows is for lower fan speeds and higher airflow. Also, to improve efficiency, the Tunic Tower uses heat pipes which you can see coming up from the copper base and connecting to the aluminum fins. Heat pipes enable thermal transfers much greater than conventional aluminum fin designs. Also included with the Tunic Tower is a fan speed controller knob, which allows maximum performance to silence ratio. You can adjust the performance and adjust the noise level according to your personal needs. Part of the Tunic Tower mounting mechanism is a back plate that goes on the back of your motherboard, as well as a hold down plate. This is held down by four thumb screws, and you use the included Tunic TX1 thermal compound in order to ensure good thermal transfer. One of the big challenges for aftermarket air cooling manufacturers is adequate mounting to ensure that your aftermarket solution is not going to fall off your motherboard or rip it in half. Uh, the Sunbeam Tunic Tower weighs in at a massive 798 grams, which is almost 2 pounds hanging off the front of your motherboard. The way Sunbeam addresses this issue is through the use of a backplate on the back of the motherboard, as you can see here. And then on the front of the motherboard, Sunbeam uses a hold down plate with springs and thumb screws that screw right into the backplate. Once the cooler has been installed, it is optional, actually, uh, because we were able to run our Tunic Tower passive with the E6700, but it is um, highly recommended to plug in the included fan into the CPU fan connector, like so. Testing of the Tunic Tower versus Intel's stock cooler, we used Intel's Core 2 Duo E6700 processor. With the Tunic Tower, we were able to hold the CPU at 37 degrees at idle and 50 degrees under load, whereas with the stock cooler, the CPU temperatures were as high as 43 degrees at idle and 63 degrees during intense usage. What that means is that the Tunic Tower, during intense CPU usage, was able to hold our CPU 13 degrees cooler than the Intel stock cooler. That means better overclocking, better performance, and better longevity for your CPU. This has been our first edition of NCIX Tech Tips. I'm Linus Sebastian.